chances are, Nicholas. Why would they be? I'm not even there. Just these are just the growing pains of transition into the industrial age. Just send them home. Stop and send them. I don't care. Just yeah, sure, that's fine. We'll work on work regulations when I get back. you shoot them? <laughs> I also said to send them home. That implies alive. <laughs> why, why would they blame me? I'm not even there. I have nothing to do with this. This is on you. For our next, say that again. The Archduke is dead? By whose hand? The black hand, of course. Why was the Archduke in Serbia? Didn't he know that today was Serbia's day of national pride? And he thought today would be a great day to just pop in for a visit. Doesn't he know that people see him as the ultimate symbol of foreign oppression? He may as well thumbed his nose at them. Well, I guess in his defense, he was the one most willing to give them their independence. I suppose Aust Austria will, dis will declare war any day now. Be prepared to send the order to mobilize. It will likely come to that. Oh, the Austrians have sent their ultimatum, have they? Bring it here. Thank you. Do the Austrians really think that Serbia would be willing to just let them investigate the assassination themselves? That'd be akin to, to relinquishing all political sovereignty. What's with this facade? Just declare war and be on with it. I mean, that's what they really want, to annex Serbia. There would be a lot less suffering and death in the world if people just said and acted as they meant. Well, this does give us, this at least does give us some time to repair. Um, yes, actually no, not a full mobilization. Let's call it a period preparatory to war. What? Just because I hate the game doesn't mean I can't play. I swear, Alexandra, I've had enough of our court. They're just as judgmental and gossipy as any common peasant. Unfit to rule, they say. As if all of Russia's plights are rooted in me. How could I possibly take care of every little conflict within our borders? Oh, and when I do try to solve all of our problems, the peasants rise up against me, calling me a tyrant. I hate them all! Yes. Yes, I suppose you're right about that, dear. That was in dead on the day of my coronation. I move a lot better. Such a tragedy of beer and pretzels. But the war with Japan is not my fault. Who could have realized how much they had advanced? I mean, not 50 years ago, they were using swords. It's the Admiral's fault we lost, sure. No, I will not hold us Putin's counsel on this. He is part of the problem. I would kick him out, but that would lead to revolution, which I do not want, especially now, with an impending European war. What I mean, my problem, is that everyone thinks of me as an indecisive and feckless leader, and falling under the influence of some mystic? 
I said that during an incredibly emotional time. Our son had just been cured and... I swear, I will prove to them all that I am fit to rule the largest nation on earth, and this great war shall be my opportunity. Scrupulous agitation that has been going on in Serbia for years has resulted in the outrageous crime to which Archduke <coughs> Francis Ferdinand fell victim. The spirit led my servants <laughs> to murder their own king and his wife still dominate the country. You will doubtless agree with me but that we both, you and I, have a common interest as well as all sovereigns to insist that all persons morally re responsible for the dastardly murder should receive their deserved punishment. In this case, <clears throat> politics plays no part at all. Why do people always have to get political about everything? <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, I fully understand how difficult it is for you and your government to face the drift of your public opinion. Therefore, with regard to the heartily and tender friendship which binds us both from long ago with firm ties, I'm exerting my utmost influence to induce the Austrians to deal straightly and to avoid to a satisfactory understanding with you. I confidently hope that you will help me in my efforts to smooth over difficulties that may still arise. Your sincere and devoted friend and cousin, Willie. Thank God, we just avoid this great <clears throat> Yes, hello. Kanushkovich, cancel the mobilization. I do not care what must be done. Cancel it. Every one of you is blind. This war will lead to revolution. It will be the end of monarchy. It will be the end of us all. I have every right to cancel the mobilization. I am the czar. My word is law. To hell with Serbia! They've been far too much trouble for their work. I can say that because they have killed their best argument for independence. <clears throat> Why would they invade us? What possible motivation would they have? Because I spoke with the Kaiser last night and we both agreed that we should avoid this war. Listen, this war will create such devastation, it will be incredible. It, there's no way that we can go forward with this. That's not what I mean. I mean, God. understand how difficult it must be for you to decide. 
difficult to decide. Very well then. I'll sign the order. You shall have your war. Revolutionaries are at our door. Yes, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. But did you awake my children? Good, good. Alexandra, here. It seems today the Russian monarchy shall fall. <laughs> yeah, Sazanov told me that the German diplomat he met with informed him that this war would lead revolution and monarchy, it would just be so devastating. I, it seems as though he's right. Zardom shall fall. It's rather anticlimactic, don't you think? Tsar Alexander II would have made a much better final Tsar. Ah, yes, Alex, here. Thank you. Yes. Communists have, will succeed, both in their goal and me. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to take this. Obviously, his kingdom falling is the greatest failure of a monarch, so that does seem that it's right born. But to regret, I'm not so sure about that. To regret? A kingdom falling would be to regret my own rule, which can't be right. So I shall weep, but I shall not, but I shall not regret. Ah, the, what are you doing? The sin. Russia is yours. I no longer have any power to oppose you. And a flood has been shed over this. There is no need to. Seems as though I was unfit to rule after all. 